key performance indicators give you insight into the business before you have to go through and do a deep dive into your financials. There are three key areas and two key performance indicators in each area that I'm going to describe today that are going to help you manage your business on a more efficient and also more effective basis. The first area we're going to talk about is sales. We're going to go into sales key performance indicators, which most people wouldn't think are associated with accounting, but they are. Because as long as you're tracking the numbers and you're increasing accountability, you're doing accounting. So let's talk about the sales KPIs, the two key performance indicators in sales that you need to track. The first one is your basic building block for sales. What is the first thing that happens in your sales funnel, in your sales process? Is it a call? Is it an inbound lead? Is it a marketing piece? Is it a networking meeting? Is it a seminar? Is it uh, some other Facebook lead, Google ad? Whatever it is, doesn't matter. They're gonna use calls for a second. If you can imagine a business that has to do 100 calls and out of those 100 calls, you'll set 10 appointments. And out of those 10 appointments, you'll get five proposals. And out of those five proposals, you'll sell two products. Well, then you know that for every 100 calls, you sell two products. 100 calls equals two products. So what's the key piece to track? The 100 calls. How many calls are you making? Did you make 100 calls this week? If so, you know you sold two products. So tracking that first building block, that very first step, in the sales process is a critical key performance leading indicator on revenue, which leads directly to my second key performance indicator in sales, which is revenue. The reason you want to track both of these is because if you're tracking those 100 calls and not tracking the revenue, you don't know if in fact 100 calls still lead to two, because as time goes on, things change. There's different marketing efforts that work, some that do, some that don't and different salespeople might not be as effective as others. So you want to track that key building block, but you also want to track revenue on a monthly basis. Now let's talk about two key performance indicators for operational effectiveness. The very first one is gross margin. Gross profit margin says, how much did I sell my stuff for and how much did it cost me to deliver my product or service? And what's the difference between those two things? That's my gross profit. When you put it into a gross profit margin, all you do is you take the dollars and you divide it by the total revenue. That gives you the percentage, your gross profit percentage, for that particular period. What you want to track is you want to track this gross profit percentage over every single month because it should be staying relatively static, ticking up just a little. If you see it start to dive, it means that either it's costing you more to provide that good or service or you're not selling as much or at the right price. So very important to track it because that is the heartbeat of your organization. What you do to deliver your product, to deliver your service, and how profitable you are doing it is absolutely the heartbeat of your organization. The second key performance indicator in operations is operational effectiveness. And the way I measure this is by looking at my total admin, total administrative, total operating costs, and dividing by my total number of employees. What this tells me is how much am I spending per employee to keep the environment and the culture in the way that I want it. But more importantly, that number should be slightly decreasing over time as you gain efficiencies. As you get better at doing the admin and operational side of your business, those dollars that you spend per employee should actually go down and become more effective and also more efficient. Finally, we're gonna talk about the last two key performance indicators in this big bucket I'm gonna call safety. Are you getting safer or are you getting weaker? Well, one metric of that that is critical to, to, to take a look at is something called a current ratio. The current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. And when you take your current assets, which are things that are going to turn into cash in the next 12 months, and you divide them by current liabilities, which are things that are going to suck cash out of your business in the next 12 months, you're going to figure out whether you're running out of cash. The most critical thing, you can't run out of cash. If you run out of cash, you're out of business. This gives you a look three to nine months in advance and will tell you if you're gonna run out of cash. That way you can do something to make sure you don't go out of business. Watching this current ratio will guarantee you don't go out of business. The next metric of safety is something very simple. On the balance sheet, you're gonna look at the very bottom line and it's called net equity. Net equity is a very simple metric that tells you whether your business is getting stronger or is getting weaker. If your business is getting stronger, you're more able to withstand some sort of a downturn in your sales, a loss of a customer, 
or worse, the downturn in the economy that you have no control over. In your business, you want to constantly be getting safer, and so watching net equity, it should be constantly increasing as time goes on. Let's recap very quickly. Two sales key performance indicators. Which ones? The basic building block of sales and revenue. Two key performance indicators in operations. What are we tracking? Gross profit margin percentage and operational effectiveness of admin costs per employee. And finally, in safety, what two key performance indicators are we, we tracking here? We're tracking the current ratio and we're tracking net equity to make sure we don't run out of cash and we stay safe. Those are six key performance indicators all in total that if you watch those six, you're gonna have a better business, you're gonna have better peace of mind, you're gonna gain more control over your business, you're gonna have better accountability, you're gonna drive profitability, and you're gonna hit your goals.